We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Raheem Mostert, Miami Dolphins running back, who had another amazing game. Uh, no Devon Achan, so he really had to take the load over for this Dolphins offense, and he played a amazingly, just making plays out there. I feel like this is like the best he's looked in a very long time this season. Just his athleticism, he gets downhill, uh, just staying square. He's very efficient with his footwork. His feet look so much better than it did last year. He's playing harder, faster. His balance and play strength look like they're on another level as well. This was my favorite play from this Dolphins game this past week. I know you that long run will definitely break down that amazing play as well. But this one, just on a third and eight situation, Tua doesn't like what he sees down the field. Like everything's sort of covered up here. So he just throws the ball down to the flat to Mostert pretty quickly. And this isn't like one of those designed ones where like you look down the field and then you have Smythe out here just waiting to block and they throw the swing because Smythe likes running a route. So Mostert has to make the first man miss. Just getting out of this. Great balance. Get up field. Showing some slipperiness. He's very fluid. And then catching this while this guy's right here. Most of the time you're just going to get tackled and he gets caught up basically like tripped up as well. And he's able to maintain his footwork. You know work off the back of this block here and then make that cut. Just efficient feet. Just one cut, boom, boom, feet tied together, get up field, fall for it for the first down. That is an amazing play that can really just change the whole flow of the game. That could easily end a drive. It can really just flip it all on its head. And that's just a huge, great individual effort there from Raheem. And then here's the big run, that 49-yard run. Some great blocking up front as well. I broke it down in the Julian Hill video. And then most are just going to second level. So explosive. Obviously, the burst is there. But just him creating is just a huge part of this. The blocking up front is always also so much better. They give him that lane to work with. They give him the toss action. Stick that foot in the ground. Press up to the outside. Get them to overflow. And then you hit through that hole. Get linear. Get downhill. And he, you know, is able to change this up. Run through some contact here. Good upper body, body strength, but also good feet. Picking those things up. Not getting tripped up by 97 right here and then burst after that to get you know an extra 20 plus yards on the play get down inside the 10 most are making plays we see him in the, we saw it in the receiving game we see it in this play right here um it's blocked up pretty nicely but once he gets to that second level he's able to create and get those extra yards these things are really big game changers really love this running back room right now for the miami dolphins one of raheem's first touches in this game was the like the end around him similar concept Dolphins have been running for weeks this is the one where he gets mad at Liam for missing that block out in space now this is the type of concept I feel like you can only run this with a few guys on the team and now with H, H hands like the main guy but with him out they put most right out there now I would still save this concept mostly for the H hand work because it's he's definitely the best fit for it but you know you fake the action here pull hunt across Hill's motioning across but he does a little reverse pivot out of it and then most are behind they cut him off Hill thinks Eichenberg's going to block right here, so he starts working to the next level, but then Eichenberg just lets him go, and then they both start going towards the same guy because Liam looked like he was going to block him, but just let him be. And if they block this guy, it could have been a huge gain, so he was definitely pissed about that. And it's also impressive that um, some physical play strength here because he takes on this tackle. This guy comes in at full speed. He just takes that hit like it's nothing, keeps fighting forward, falls for you know an extra yard or two than he should have gained. And then here's his first touchdown on the swing pass. Not doing anything too crazy, but I do like to see he has solid hands. Like, I feel like he's just catching everything with his hands out here. Very comfortable. You know, allow this block to get set up and then, you know, jog into the end zone. Not doing anything too crazy on that one. We saw saw a lot of good plays out of him where he had to create. And sometimes things just go perfectly, perfect schematically and things work out. But you still got to catch the ball sometimes, you know, guys will drop in. He's been very reliable with his hands throughout the season. Really love the footwork in the backfield here. I feel like that's an underrated trait with these Dolphins running backs because they're all known for their burst, their speed. But having f you got to have good footwork. I feel like it's even more important than being fast as a running back because when you're running on these types of concepts, some gap scheme work, they're trying to pull behind win here. And this gets blown up off the middle like right there. Austin Jackson gets thrown off balance. This D-tackle makes this play in the backfield. And look, he has to change directions off that cut real like quickly, just lateral, but then gets back square and then gets vertical to get downhill to pick up four yards on a play that he easily could have gained up nothing. These plays end up mattering a lot in the long run. Another play here for Mostert, getting him on some work out to the edge. I feel like the Dolphins run like these toss, you know, crack type concepts better than anyone with lead blockers. Super unfortunate that he got ran into Ingold here. Like that was very, you know, not the greatest. But Waddle comes down, look at him crack the defensive end, takes him out of the play, great blocking. And then, you know, Ingold 
tries to get there. He pushes through. He takes on a defense tackle here. This is great play strength. Look how he's barely affected upper body. He just gets moved to the side like this. And if he doesn't run into Angled, he has a chance to go huge because they have this block downfield. Eichenberg has a chance to get this guy down here. And then he also would have Alec running with him. Just unfortunate that that guy pushed him right into Alec and took him off his feet. Just uh, another play that so many yards could have been gained if it wasn't just for something, you know, either Eichenberg missing the block in that first one or um, just that unfortunate thing where he ran into Alec off the push. But Moser's doing it on more than just on, like he's doing on these gap scheme runs as well. It's not just zone. He's a very comfortable, versatile player. Picking up four yards here. Things aren't blocked up perfectly. They're working some counter action. He gets to the outside. There's just not a lot of space. So he presses up. And then he does a really good job with his feet. Look, he points the toes. And then this guy dives low at him. And he picks up the foot. The feet. He's been very, like, acrobatic almost. And this is just a natural feel instinctive thing that you have as a running back. And then out of this, he gets back upfield. Doesn't waste too much time. You can see the quick choppy steps after that little hop skip right there. And then that allows him to maximize, get upfield, pick up some yardage on the first and eight situation. And then he scores the next play. You know, you pick up four yards on that first play, work off the back of this block. Good read, good vision. Get behind Hunt on the pull. Um, sees this. He wants to avoid the unblocked guy, so he gets upfield. He's getting dragged from behind. Good instincts to reach for the end zone. Don't want to, you know, lose the ball in a fumble, but that's, you know, good instincts getting those touchdowns. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice to see him recognize things and just get upfield right away. This is a very, very interesting play. Dolphins running some counter. It looks like it's going to be like the zone counter. Uh, getting out, out to the outset, there's no like polar, but then it's like weird how they set this up. Like look at Robert Hunt on this play. Everyone takes like a zone step initially, and they have angled working with a counter step too. But Hunt gets back around, and then look at him like throw a club to the right hand just to get his positioning. That is an insane play by Robert Hunt. And then Mostert with the finish, setting this up, has the speed to get to the outside stiff arm the first one he's got that upper body strength that's great feel and then boom the elevator raheem leap picture getting over the top hurdle this guy like it's nothing great acrobatic skills and that maximizes yardage gets you down with inside you know to score a touchdown range which he does here's the touchdown most of it's actually been pretty solid in short yardage situations i'd like every time he's gone down the goal line on the one i feel like he's scored when they've given it to him at least after like at least not, not maybe not the first try every time, but he's done the second try. I feel like I don't know why the Dolphins aren't running more of this type of things on third and one. They're trying to do a little too much. This is a situation where I think McDaniel could be better. But like this guy gets some penetration. Mostert avoids him. Gets skinny. He gets square. Dips those shoulders. And then falls into the end zone. Just good instincts. That's why they're going to down for Raheem. Good job reading this. Some inside zone work. Press up and then get upfield. Burst. Love this. All this space to work with. They're working more of a, like they're more of an outside zone blocking scheme, but the aiming point's a little like mid zone ish. And he sees all this room, and most running backs are short on space. But it's actually a good lesson to press the line of scrimmage, then run to space. Like he could have just ran to space here because there was so much space to work with. But it's a good lesson for running backs to press and then run to space because that's how it works more often. These spaces close up more quickly in different scenarios. But right here he presses and then boom, get up to space. Look how he's able to get linear very quickly but also like curve it up like point the hips point the toe get away with him but still maintain his burst and speed to get upfield pick up solid 13 yards raheem playing out of his mind playing like one of the best running backs in the league can't imagine what this this offense has so much potential when age hand comes back and i mean they still have they're still probably the best offense in the league without him but can go to even newer heights excited to see them play the eagles this week it'll be a real fun challenge so if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time peace 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 peace